Let's make a vegan shark. I'm about to say a shark board. Chartreuse, charcuterie, chartery. Leave it rolling. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. That chocolate vegan with me, Erin Wells. And you read that title correctly. Let's make a vegan charcuterie board. Let's get started. All right, guys, taking you back to this past Sunday when we had Girls' Night In or Girls' Day In, technically. Melody invited me and Danielle over for uh, yoga, and I decided, hey, I really want to treat my girls, and I might as well record it. So we made this shark coochie board, okay? Yes, I said shark coochie. We're starting off with some mango slices. Everything is from Whole Foods, guys, so everything was also very expensive, okay? Um, I had no rhyme or reason as to how to make this board. I looked at a couple pictures online and then I closed my phone. I did not wanna be trying to be exactly like how they were. Um, I will attach a picture of the receipt probably at the end of this video, y'all, because all this stuff was expensive. I'll just tell you now, I spent $91. Now, some products I did not use. I will also show you guys that at the end of the video. But yeah, I went to Whole Foods. I was a one-stop shop and <laughs> I got everything from there because I didn't want to be late to yoga. I know y'all, I should've went to Sprouts, but it is what it is. I mean, it ain't tricking if you got it, okay? So y'all, literally I'm just placing the strawberries in random spots. Everything is just random. I went just off the top of my dome. Again, I did not want to like look at a picture and try to execute it exactly. Plus there's not a lot of vegan charcuterie boards um, online. Uh, you just saw me play some carrots, which you'll see later on. We didn't really need the carrots, but hey, I had them. They were at Melly's house. Let's get it. The tofurkey slices, I'm just placing them. They'll be removed later. So guys, make this. It's super, super fun. The tree line um, cream cheese, it already came in a nice container. So I just placed it right on the board. And what I did was just mix it up to make it look like it was real cream cheese, okay? <laughs> you still saw my friend Danielle steal a mango slice, girl, I see you. Now here she is kind of redirecting the board because I needed some more room. So we're moving all the freeze dried mango slices to one side to make room for the Via Life Epic Mature Cheese. Um, next, I'm using the 365 Wheat Crackers, which I thought were gonna be similar to Wheat Thins, but no, they just tasted really healthy, pretty much. Uh, we'll give a review on everything at the end, guys. That's why I'm not really talking about in detail the products that I am using. But this was super fun. I thought it was gonna be stressful. It's super fun. Get your girls, or maybe with your husband, boyfriend, they, him, she, her, I'm not being discriminatory. Whoever, your spouse is, or your friends, get together and do one of these. It was so fun. Red pepper hummus, some filled roast sausage, just placing. At this point, I was just placing food in gaps, okay? So now we're taking a yellow bell pepper, Galloway, sorry, I call her Galloway. Danielle is uh, telling me where to place things, kind of helping, like she got along, it was fun. Again, do it with your friends. Um, we're removing the pickles and like putting the parsley down just to get a nice pop of green color underneath. Um, and just kind of just placing things. Again, it's just no rhyme or reason to this, y'all. We're just making an epic snack board. So we're moving the tofurkey slices to one side. We're adding the yellow bell pepper um, to where we had the meat previously. Adding a couple more strawberries. Now I'm gonna take um, the Whole Foods, once again, uh, blueberries and blackberries, and I'm just placing them where any of the gaps are. But then I realized I forgot to use my jelly that I got from Whole Foods, which was local. So I went and got that, and we're gonna add that right beside the cookie butter. Just because it's so thick and really it's not, you don't have to worry about flavors mixing like that. Just put it right beside your cookie butter in that little container or whatever container you have. We had so much fun as a group of girlfriends doing this project. Um, and we definitely looking forward to do it again. We know exactly what we want to remove and some products I want to try next. I mean, it's just, I just can't speak enough guys of how if you're scared to do one of these, do it. Like it's so much fun. Uh, speaking of the products that I did not use, we have the creamy garlic dressing by Follow Your Heart. Delicious. I used it afterwards for sure. And we have the vegan mock chicken salad also from Whole Foods. Delicious. Just didn't think it went on this board, but I might add it next time because my friends actually enjoyed it. Okay, guys, I had to put a filter on because we look a mess, right? But, all right, so for my favorite, it's going to have to be the tofurkey with the hummus, with the cracker, with the pickle afterwards, bomb. My least favorite will have to be the cream cheese and the um, Miyoko's, I don't know what this is supposed to be, 
white cheddar maybe it was a no for me everything else delicious loved it hey y'all so what i liked was the what is it cookie butter yeah. the biscoff that's from the cookies that you get when you're on the airplane okay mm -hmm. delish um with a combination of a real strawberry the wheat thin that is good my second is the hummus wheat thin and yellow pepper least is this block of cheese hate it and the philly cream cheese hey so i'm here giving my review charcuterie that's what it's called so it was okay so i would not have had this ever just because it's meat cheese crackers i don't want that but it was so delicious i ate everything everything was great i didn't really have a least favorite just because it was all good i was so appreciative As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.